hello. Let's have a look at these. Now these do a lot of people's heads in. <coughs> Especially mums. I don't know why with mums, but it does seem to be be the way of the world. So who are we to do now? Percentage. It looks there we are, that's a hundred, isn't it? Now percent is written like that. So it's kind of it means out of a hundred. Uh, we use percentage as a way of comparing different different amounts of data. So with that in mind, 31% means 31 out of 100. So if that was 31 pennies in a pound, we would write 0.31, wouldn't it? 31 pence, 31 pennies out of the pound. And as a fraction, that is 31 out of 100. Now, 31 is a prime number, so we can't reduce it any further. Let's get another colour. Do you fancy? Let's have purple. 28%. Now, 28%, it would be written as a decimal, 28 pennies in a pound, 0.28, which would be as, so let's give a rub out our workings here. So it would be 28 out of 100. Now, the problem with that, I mean, that, that's perfectly fine. It's just, it's not it's not the best as it could be. So what we have to do is reduce it down. It's a bit like saying, we're going to cut the pizza into 100 bits and you can have 28. Well, by the time you've cut it up, they're going to be weeny, aren't they? There's no point in that. You cut the pizza into the biggest chunks you can get away with. Ooh, did you see that? I wonder why I did that. I don't like that. And um, so what number will go into top and bottom? If you're not feeling very sort of like, Bleh, go for um, two. 2 would go into that 14 times, 2 would go into 150 times, and then you can do 2 again. 2 goes into 14 7 times, so 2 goes into 50 25 times. So it's 7 over 25, and there's nothing that will go into 7 and 25, so leave well alone. Let's try a nice blue this time. Now they've given us a decimal. Um, if you're reading that as money, you would say that that was 74 pence, um, 74 pence, wouldn't you? So that would be 74%, 74 out of 100, so there we are, 74%, and then that would be 74 as a fraction out of 100. Uh, we can divide that up into smaller bits, so that would be, we'll divide by two, should we? That would be 50, wouldn't it? 100 divided by 2 is 50. Oh, <laughs> not feeling good. So if you're not feeling, if you're not on top of your game, write your workings, for goodness sake. There is no shame in writing your workings. Of course, it's 37, isn't it? 37 out of 50. 37 out of 50. And 37 is a prime number, so we can't reduce it any further. Now let's see what else have we got. Now we've got 46, we have a nice bright red. 46 out of, well, it'd be 46 pence, wouldn't it? It's, um, so 46, what makes that 46%? These ones are quite easy, aren't they? They're no difficulty. And then 46 out of 100, what will go into both the numerator, the top number, and the denominator. Uh, two goes into that, two, Three, so that's 23, 2 goes into that 50. Once again, we've got a prime number here, so there's nothing we can do with it. So that's 23 out of 50. Goody, 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 which takes us down to the bottom one. Should we go for green? Let's see green. Um, and there we've got 24, 0.24. If that was money, you'd say 24 pence, 24 pennies out of the pound. Gets a bit tedious after a while, doesn't it? So that would be 24%. And as a fraction, that would be 24 out of 100. We can reduce that down so that we're not having to cut our pizza into 100 bits and then share it around. Uh, there are a number of ways of tackling this one. I'm feeling quite up for it, so I'm going to go for four. Four goes into that six times, and four goes into that 25 times. We could have done two and then two again. Um, and there's nothing that will go into six and 25, is there? 
So leave well alone and leave your answer as 6 over 25. That bobs your uncle.